already here from Premier Basics and ah, the music is way too loud. That is better. A while back, we made a video about how to make your voice sound cinematic, and you guys really seem to love that one. So today, we're going to do something similar, but very different. I'm gonna teach you how to increase your overall audio quality through some very simple tricks. Let's say that you created a talking video, but your background music is too loud. Of course, you can just simply turn down the volume, but if you do that, your music sometimes becomes too silent. Hi, my name is Jordan. Well, let me show you how to make both your voice and your music pop without having to sacrifice one of them. Find the paramedic equalizer in your effects browser and drag that onto the music clip. Head over to the effects controls and click on edit. This will open up the equalizer. But Jordi, what is all of this? Well, no need to panic, guys. What you see right here is the frequency spectrum. You can find the low frequencies on the left, the mids in the middle, and the highs on the right. And with these little points right here, you can boost or cut specific frequencies. So to make your voice pop, we're going to find the same frequencies of your voice inside the music. And that will be between 400 and 1000 hertz, depending on your type of voice, you know, male or female. Cut those frequencies out by dragging the point down. You can also adjust the width of your band. This will give you even more control. Finally, decrease the high frequencies just a little bit to make more space for the highs of your voice. And now the most important frequencies of your voice have more space so it pops out and you don't have to decrease the overall volume of the music for that. Now a quick bonus tip guys, if you also put an EQ on your voice clip and add the vocal enhancer preset to it, this will fill in the gap even more. Hi, my name is Jordi and my voice sounds dull. Now what if you want your voice to sound like you're on a podcast, but you don't want to buy an expensive mic for that, which is understandable? Well then just head over to the effects library and find the single band compressor. Drag that onto your clip and click on edit to open up the compressor itself. Now decrease the threshold a bunch. The amount depends on how your voice is originally recorded. Then increase the ratio just a little bit. Increase the output gain until you get to the desired volume, which for me is going to be between minus six and minus three decibels. Hi, my name is Jordi and my voice sounds dull. And that's about it. Now, I gotta say that these settings are a bit dramatic, but that's because Premiere's compressor works a bit different than other external compressors. The next and final audio trick is going to blow your mind, guys. But first, if you want your audio to stand out from the rest, then I suggest to check out Storyblocks, a sponsor for today's video. Here you can find thousands and thousands of royalty-free audio content, such as music and sound effects that can be used for commercial and personal projects. Personally, I love their sound effects collection as I can always find what I need for my projects. Now, Storyblocks is not just an audio library. Oh no, you can download millions of royalty-free video assets as well, such as stock footage, animated backgrounds, or even collections where you can find multiple videos of aerial footage, for example, in the same genre or theme and all of this in HD or 4K quality. Download thousands of awesome green screen videos which you can use to spice up your video edits. The list of text animation templates is endless and I mean just look at this. This is amazing guys. These are both After Effects and Premiere Pro templates which you can easily adjust with just a click of a button. Now the library keeps expanding with community driven video assets so there's always something new to be found. I believe that every creator can benefit from a Storyblock subscription because this really helps to increase your production quality. And there's a plan for everyone's needs, but the most valuable is the unlimited all access plan, which allows you to download unlimited amount of video assets. So definitely check out storyblogs.com forward slash Premier Basics or simply click the first link in the description down below. And now let me blow you away with that last audio trick. We're gonna make the audio expand to the space around us like 8D cinematic audio. Now for this to work, you are gonna need a stereo audio track with all the sound on one side. You know, like like this here. If you don't have that or you're already working with a stereo clip, then go to the effects controls and pan your audio all the way to the left or to the right. Now find the stereo expander in the effects library. Now we need this effect to work after the panning and as you can see Premiere just doesn't let me do that. So to fix that, go to your clip and the timeline, right click on it and select nest. Now we can drag the stereo expander effect onto the nested sequence and open it up by clicking on edit. Simply increase the stereo expands property by pulling the slider to the right and now play it around with the center channel pan until the sound sits at the right spot. And this is of course going to be a little bit different for every voice, but wow. 
Look at my, I mean, just hear my voice, guys. This sounds so spatial right now. Wow. Now, one problem though, after nesting the clip, I don't see the audio waveforms anymore. This is in fact a bug within Premiere. And in this video here on my left, I show you how to solve that together with a whole bunch of other frustrating issues that Premiere comes with. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you, Sturdy Vlogs, for your support. Definitely check them out. Link in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, stay creative.